Hey, so today I want to explore an interesting question. What gives arts advocates the right to advocate for art? Let me tell you where that question kind of comes from. So I've been thinking about why, why is it that our society does not seem to really appreciate or understand or encourage the arts? Um, in my mind, it's just it's self-evident that the arts are extremely important. Um, I, I, I can't think of a better educational tool. I can't think of a better way to spend your life. I can't think of, um, you know, something more satisfying than a, a wonderful, wonderful piece of work that just connects with you and helps you think more deeply about the universe and, and condenses all things that you need to know in some deliverable form. But our society doesn't really seem to, on the whole, grasp that or, or feel that. Um, and so I, the first question I have to ask is, why? Why is that? And I think, so that's the first question that leads me to the, the, the main question. So the first question is, why is that? Why does our society not seem to get that? And I think it's because it's really difficult to describe what the importance of art is, because you have to experience it. You know, that's everything that I said at the, at the top of this was showing kind of how my, my passion was for it, how I felt about it. You can't describe that. You just, you have to feel it. So then that leads me to the, the next question. Is it even possible to describe the importance of the arts? Um, I mean, it's hard enough to do it in an impassioned speech. It's darn near impossible if you're trying to write a grant. I mean, there's no way you could convey the importance of the arts. So is it, is it even possible to describe the importance of the arts? Uh, and, and so, you know, how, so that, how then do you give people the opportunity to, to feel the importance of the arts? And then that kind of leads me to the, the inevitable question, which is the one at the top of the blog, which is, what gives someone the right, what gives an arts advocate the right to advocate for the arts? What gives someone the right to try to give someone an experience that wherein they will appreciate art? And that question, I think the reason why I, I start with that question is because I, I, that's, that question, I think, is where all possibility of a logical answer goes out the window. Because there is nothing that gives you the right to advocate for something that you love and that you believe in. It just is within you. It's just, it just is. And so that's, that's interesting to me because that's where all of my questions kind of come to a head. What gives someone the right to ad advocate for the arts um, is the same thing that is impossible to describe about the arts. And that's the same thing that... Um, I, there's a third question there, but the, <laughs> I forget what it is. But, but basically, it all kind of boils down to this thing which is just beyond what can be described. And it's, it's this core... It's, it's wordless is what it is. And so it's, it's like our language and our ability to question is breaking down in the face of what we really need to approach in order to understand, you know, uh, what the arts mean. So what, where, where do we go in all this? Where, where is this, all this going? So in my mind, um, the, the, the most important thing that we can do to promote and advocate the arts is to live an artful, creative life and to allow what is rich and important about the arts to, in, to, to be within us and to express itself in our daily lives, not just in paintings, not just in movies, but in how we talk to people, how we fill out forms, you know, at the, 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 the DMV, you know, how, how can we breathe something creative into every moment? And more importantly, well, maybe not more importantly, but to assist this, I think it will really help if just at least for a moment we can destroy the word art in our minds. Just forget that there is such a word. Because I think that word is becoming a tremendous obstruction uh, to what the reality is. I mean, it's the thing that art describes is, is, is so many things. I mean, it begins with a process, uh, you know, of, of giving yourself to something, of uh, injecting something with some kind of intent or desire or vision. And, yeah, and, and 
So I think it's just this is I mean, you can see that I'm getting kind of loopy because it's 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 a loopy concept, um, and you and you need to be able to inhabit it somehow. I think to properly understand it. So yeah, let's let's continue thinking about this. But this was today's blog. Um, I hope you had a good time. I definitely did, um, and I will see you next week.